Ciao ragazzi, I'm Chef Roberta and today I will show you how to make the perfect carbonara. Let's see the ingredient for the classic carbonara. We got fresh golden yolk eggs. You will see why I'm using golden yolk later. Then I got spaghetti. You can also use rigatoni. Then I got pecorino romano to celebrate the Roman heritage. Then I got fresh black pepper and guanciale. This is a typical Roman cured meat. You can of course use also pancetta. But whatever you do, make sure you don't use any bacon. Let's start with the guanciale. We use the guanciale as it's a cured meat that has a high fat content and it will add a lot of flavor to your dish. And where to find the guanciale in any Italian delicatessen. So the first thing is to remove, as you can see, there is the skin which needs to be removed. And we're just gonna cut it off. It depends how much you're going to use. And now I will do a couple of slices of guanciale. It's enough for two people. As you can see, I'm cutting the guanciale about half a centimeter pieces. Now, let's separate the eggs. I'm using one egg yolk per person. And that's why, guys, I have used golden yolk eggs. So it will add a really nice color to your carbonara. Don't throw the egg white away, as you can use it for an omelette, for instance. And I have already prepared the pecorino. What I'm going to use is three tablespoons each egg. Now you have to mix all together. And as you can see, there is a very nice consistency, which is not too liquid, but that's what we need to make a good carbonara. Few recipe, they also have parmigiano, but I will suggest to use pecorino only. And as you can see, it is a very nice consistency to our cheese and eggs. And look guys, that's the golden yolk eggs that I have suggested you to use it to add beautiful color to the carbonara. So when you start with the guanciale, make sure that you start from a cold pan, which you're gonna simply put it in and then you switch on. This is in order to release all the fat from the guanciale slowly and it will not burn it. And now guys, that the guanciale he start to cook, it's time for you to cook the pasta. Make sure you check the minutes on the package if it says nine minutes. Well, I want you to cook only seven and the remaining two minutes, I will show you guys how to uh, combine all the ingredients together. As you can see guys, the guanciale is start to cook and release all the fat. That's why you don't need any oil or butter. Fab ragazzi, the guanciale is ready. It's nice and crispy. We're going to remove from the pan and keep the fat into the pan so we can combine with the spaghetti layer. So now that we have removed the guanciale, I want you to add a few, slowly, just slowly a few tablespoons of water. Leave it to cook for 
just a few seconds. And we are going to add our spaghetti. As I say before, they are very al dente because I want you to cook for the last couple of minutes into the pan. And as we say in Italian, we say risottare. It's coming from risotto word. So what you do, you adding water as soon as soon the pasta will absorb. But this way, the pasta will get nice and creamy because the pasta will release all the starch. So as you can see, guys, I always try to keep less water as possible. Remember, you can always add, keep always your water, the pasta water with you. So in case it gets too dry, you can add a little bit more, but I will suggest to don't add it too much. So guys, I have removed from the heat. It's very important because if you continue to mix the ingredients, especially the eggs on the hob, you will get the scrambled eggs and that's what you don't want. So you can see it's nice and hot. I got all the creamy for the cream from the pasta only. Now it's time to add the eggs that we prepared before. Don't worry, as I say, you keep the pasta water just in case, just in case it gets too, too dry. And I want you to mix all together. I didn't add any extra water, just a little bit. And remember, if you, if you wanna, you can, we can add just a, a splash of more water and continue to mix. Can you see already how nice and creamy is the carbonara? Fantastic. The carbonara is ready to be played. We are going to add the guanciale. You can add right now, or if you wanna, you can just leave it on each portion to make it nice on top to see all the guanciale. Nice carbonara, it's ready. So what I also like to do with the, the um, guanciale, it's because it's nice and crispy, so we are going to roughly chop. If you, if you like, you can, so you get more bits of guanciale. And we are just ready to plate. We are going to do one. Let's put a little bit more. Let's be generous today. And two on top. Let's add a little bit of sauce, guys. You're going to add the beautiful guanciale on top. And guys, don't forget, nice and fresh black pepper. Buon appetito, ragazzi. Carbonara. <laughs> 